we have to uh, uh, encourage and facilitate the private sector as the main engine of economic growth. This year, foreign direct investment will be slightly higher than last year. But everyone is concerned about 2009. I think we have to accept the fact that there will be a drop in terms of foreign direct investment. So therefore, domestic investment must, must be increased to pick up the slack. I'll be meeting various uh, uh, groups in the private sector to encourage them to increase their domestic investment. Uh, and, it's, and, and secondly, um, uh, the effort to increase foreign direct investment in terms of uh, 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 the customized incent incentives that the government can approve, which is under the watch of my committee on high impact investment will continue. Uh, as you know, 1.5 billion has been allocated as part of 7 billion uh, to support uh, foreign direct investment in terms of uh, customized incentives. And thirdly, the uh, corridor areas that uh, uh, can stimulate uh, more investment, both foreign and domestic investment. Then we will identify uh, certain sectors that can have very immediate short-term gains, such as uh, the tourism sector, and that includes all forms of tourism, health tourism, education tourism, sports tourism, eco-tourism, and in particular, MICE, the, uh, uh, what do you call, the uh, uh, conventions and exhibition market. Uh, that has got uh, a big uh, potential, which has not been fully realized. So uh, these are some of the steps that uh, we will do. Uh, plus, uh, we have other new initiatives. As you know, as part of the fiscal uh, incentive, I have announced that the uh, <coughs> government assets, uh, we will uh, uh, realize the value, unlock the value of government assets. And this will do the first quarter of next year, uh, starting with uh, three pieces of strategic plan that we will uh, uh, pass it out. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to uh, realize uh, uh, the potential value, of, unlock the potential value of these assets. I, I take the view that uh, we don't have to wait until the budget. Customary it is for us to wait for the budget to announce any new uh, fiscal incentives. But I'm not averse if I think uh, it, it is necessary to do it earlier to get the benefit that we will do it earlier. Well, we can't stop the companies from downsizing in their demand has been so adversely affected. But uh, we can introduce uh, special programs like uh, retraining program uh, so that uh, workers that are uh, considered to be uh, in excess, they can be retrained and their uh, skill level can be upgraded. Uh, so uh, that is also included, part of it is included under the uh, incentive package, something like 300 million has been set aside for uh, training, which we can buy places at various uh, training institutions. I don't want to second guess of the value because I have not seen the market valuation yet, but they are uh, prime land and uh, because of the strategic location, they can expect, be expected to, to bring in uh, several billion uh, ringgit to the Malaysian government. Yes. Uh, we'll, we'll announce the uh, orders of Parandi, but it will be on uh, market and uh, it will be on the basis of a proper uh, valuation.
I, I have said that most of the government uh, uh, spending in terms of uh, educational projects will be done on either open tender or restricted tender. Uh, I'm not saying that uh, negotiated tender is close, completely close. But what I'm saying is that the uh, majority uh, in terms of percentage uh, will be issued out on the basis of uh, competitive bidding. And uh, I suspect we will save uh, quite a significant amount. Uh, because if people get contracts or negotiate that tender, there's a tendency for them uh, uh, to be difficult when it comes to price negotiations because they think they've got the project and they stick to their guns and uh, negotiations can be sometimes uh, quite protect, pro protracted. Therefore, it is uh, uh, sometimes quite uh, misleading to think that Negotiate that then the, my expedite implementation project. We have not much control, but we have called for sovereign rating by the various international rating agencies to be uh, more objective because sometimes uh, they revise your ratings downwards. Uh, not on on a fair basis. So there must be some uh, universal criteria to decide on uh, the level of sovereign rating. I think we have called for that as part of the reform of the global financial architecture. I think we have to engage with them in a very uh, constructive and meaningful way. Uh, I, for one, on my way back from uh, Peru after attending APEC, uh, met with some uh, important uh, people in the international media to talk to them, and uh, I will continue with this. And uh, my other colleagues will also be doing the same thing. Uh, we have to manage the uh, international foreign media uh, by engage, engaging them in a constructive way. Uh, not only uh, giving interviews to them, but by developing uh, a good uh, and constructive relationship with them. So that, uh, at the very least, uh, they will get to know the Malaysian government story. Uh, they might have their own interpretation of events. Uh, they may even have certain bias in terms of ideological bias. But at the very least, they would have uh, our side of the story.